Okay, so this one is Camel Case. Uh, Anthony, you made this one. Do you do you remember making this one, or was there anything in your mind when you made it? Yeah, I made it without a solution, probably. <laughs> is that? Yeah, um, exactly. I, I made I made this one because uh, at that point it's that uh, TypeScript is four point one has come out and people are excited about the, the temporary literal feature. So, and then it opens up the possibility to do things like this. Mm. So, then we thinking, yeah, probably should have some test for it. So yeah. we should have some challenge for it. So yeah, I agree. That. That's awesome. Um, I love it. So, yeah, uh, let me let me show you. So. Just like we did in the last challenge, a lot of these tests have the same sort of start. Um, so you can say like, uh, here, we'll, we'll go with one yeah, that looks like this. Um, and for head, oops. Uh, so if anyone wasn't watching, we just did a, um, what was it? A sequence uh, challenge with Anthony and it's very similar setup to like do the different like taking things off of an array yeah. versus taking things off of a string. So, uh, yep, uh, let's see. We have a, like a true case and a false case. So here we go. And then usually the in the truth branch is where the recursion will happen. So in this case, we can have like, uh, here, we'll, we'll, we'll do it piece by piece. But we have this lowercase helper that kind of comes in handy. So we can use that uh, that lowercase helper and just this is like the base case of recursion. If there's if this does not match, meaning there's nothing left or there's no underscore, then we'll just lowercase the item. So like, for example, this test is now actually passing because it's going through this branch. But then then the, the base case of recursion needs to happen where we do some operation. So we have here head and uh, we're gonna like recurse somehow with tail. Yeah. And oh, it's uh, sorry, I should call it tail. Um, okay, so we have head and tail, and we're going to recurse somehow. In this case, uh, why is it giving me uh, t does not satisfy the constraints? Oh, let's put a um, let's put a generic constraint on there. So let's see which ones are failing. Um, okay, so here we see that we're not lowercasing uh, all of the letters like yeah. we should be. So we have to we have to lowercase each character as we go. Okay, um, so let's take a look at that test, same test A five again. So now every character is lowercase. That's not quite right. We want to we want to capitalize yeah. the first one after we we hit this character. Um, yeah. So we put capitalize in there. And let's. Oh, look. we do have a capitalize utilities. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. There's a. I there's, thought, uh, yeah, I was thought to make like to implement one. Um, yeah, there there is a capitalize, uh, uppercase, lowercase, capitalize, and uncapitalize are four types that oh. are built into TypeScript. Cool. And uh, they have this special. They're kind of interesting because they have. Uh, they're not implemented in TypeScript. They're actually special cased into the compiler, and yeah. they use this special intrinsic keyword which is a TypeScript keyword, and that was made just for this use case. And uh, yeah, yeah, even though you can actually implement, and there are challenges for implementing all of these things. So, oh, really? Uh, yeah. We're using a map or something. Yeah, see? Yeah, in fact, let me let me show you one. So, so okay, this is, this is one solution. Um, I think it's one of the simpler solutions. Let's find one. Uh, so here's a solution by this guy, Team Chong. He makes a lot of really great solutions, and we, we use his stuff here a lot on the, uh, on the challenges. Let's break this onto another line so we have more space. So what he does is uses, uh, he has a list of uppercase letters, and then he has a list of all letters, and, and he grabs that by passing, <laughs> by passing lowercase to uppercase letters. Uh, or passing uppercase letters through lowercase, rather. So letters is just a list of every... It's uppercase letters and all the lowercase ones. Makes yeah. sense so far? Yeah. And then looking at his implementation, so he's making a an intersection between uh, something that starts with a underscore letters and then having some some stuff at the end. So there's like a single letter here, because these are all individual letters. 
And uh, if that's true, he's inferring first and rest off of that. So he's grabbing that first character afterwards. In the truth branch, if this if this case matches, then then we can do basically the it's it's very similar to what we did up here, I think, on line thirty nine. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, if it doesn't match, then we're just going to grab the first and last characters. Uh, the, the rest is a is a bunch of characters. When first will just be the first character because that's just how it works in TypeScript. So we lowercase the first character like we did up here, and then uh, we because we're sure that it isn't a uh, you know what one of the letters we want we need to capitalize we can just pass in the rest and handle it there so okay mm -hmm. the base case of recursion is just an empty string but <laughs> anyway have i guess you, you don't you probably don't see stuff like this a lot uh, in your day to day um yeah, I think uh, it's probably getting better since the, the TypeScript in implements a lot of new features. I think at the, I think at the, like the 4.0 or a bit before is that we want, we want to do some like uh, numerical add addition or like multiplies. You need to have a, a joint table of the things to do so. Mm -hmm. And I think for the, the the cases also like when 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 we don't have the lowercase uppercase utilities, you need to implement that one. Yeah, you have to manually so write you it. Probably write. need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's it's definitely nicer these days. And this is this is the last one. Um, we're we're just taking. Uh, this is an optimization. It's seeing if uh, if the if the word is already lowercase, meaning if t extends the lowercase of t. So like foobar is an example of this. Then if the word's already lowercase, we don't have to do any work at all. We can just skip everything and just return, yeah. um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, a lot faster. So I think that's that's kind of like an interesting way of solving it. This one is cool because it uses three uh, three little blocks here. So there's like a, char a single character and then a, a, a literal underscore and then another single character, and that's and that's how it's being split up. And it's a little different than what we did up top, but then we can pass that uh, that uppercase letter individually and then camel and then like recurse through the rest so okay it's kind of cool yeah. that's all i got for this one um any other <laughs> any other closing thoughts uh it is a lot nicer these days yeah cool all right let's mm -hmm. keep going to the next one yeah